see there's auto exposure bracketing added here. Let's you hit the set button and then adjust the quick control dial and you'll see the green indicators move out indicating the spread of exposure that is used when it takes this three shots that you're going to do when you do the auto exposure bracketing. It goes to up to plus two and minus two stops from the center exposure point. So if you really want to be sure you're going to get an exposure that's correct on a critical shot, you might use auto exposure bracketing and set it to plus and minus one or 1.25 there or 1.3 and, and go ahead and take three shots and uh, that way you'll be sure to get a shot that's exposed correctly. As soon as you have this adjusted where the green indicators are moving out from the center, auto exposure bracketing is engaged. To make it not happen, you've got to set it back to that center point. The 20D also has a very new exciting mode that's available in the creative zone and it is white balance bracketing. Let's take a look at the menu and it says white balance shift bracket, hit set on the quick control dial and it comes up with a color grid control axis. If we then take the quick control dial and turn it to the right, you'll see this control set points come out left and right towards the blue and amber area and when we're in multi continuous shooting mode and we hit the shutter, it will take three frames in a row, one in the center, a standard white balance, one shifted towards the blue and then the next shifted towards the amber. If we turn the quick control dial to the center and keep going left, then it will shift from the green and magenta, and if we were to use the continuous shooting mode here, it would take a center shot at the correct white balance, and then one shifted to the magenta, and then the green. Now some of your other friends may have a 20D also, but if you really want to impress them as to how much you know, ask them what kind of things they've changed in the custom settings. They'll probably give you a blank stare because not a lot of people go into the custom settings, but they can be pretty powerful if you know how. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's real easy. You're going to hit the menu button first, and then this is what you're going to see on the screen. The usual thing. Keep scrolling down, and all of a sudden you're going to get to one called custom functions. You're going to hit the set button in the middle of your quick control dial and ooh, it seems overwhelming doesn't it but this is all little computer talk ones and zeros and these are different things that you can change now I just changed something here that's a one everything is pretty much defaulted to zero but let me show you something that I changed here long exposure noise reduction well tonight I'm gonna go out and get some shots with the bulb settings so I wanted to make sure that any long exposure has some noise reduction so the picture looks as clean as possible. To do this, you use your quick uh, command dial in the back. Find the one that you want. In this case, I want long exposure noise reduction. Normally, it was set to zero, so I can just show you how, that, how it was. You press the set button in the middle, turn your dial. As you rotate it, it just keeps going on and off to on in this case. Hit the set button again in the middle of the uh, quick dial. And there you have it, it's changed.